Hello. Sounds a very important part of bird watching, and often a good ear is all you need to find out what's around. In these lockdown days, there's a lot less traffic and other noise, so it's a good time to listen out for birdsong. And I've been taking advantage of that. I've been outside into the garden a few times and recorded some of the local birds using the voice memo function on my smartphone. One of the sounds that I think really nails it for spring is the willow warbler song. I think that's really beautiful. There are a few other species in the background. Uh, the great tit, uh, starlings chattering, carrion crow and a wood pigeon cooing. This next clip starts off with a chaffinch and then two bursts of willow warbler song. Now, it's not just migrants that have great song, though, and one of the most powerful and recognisable singers is one of our smallest species and a resident. On this next recording, the focal bird is a wren, but it's competing against several other species. The wren starts off, but is soon joined briefly by a chaffinch in the background, and then a great tit butts in with its repetitive call. Then a sheep, and in the background a chaffinch again, and the wren loudly finishes off the clip. You may also have heard on this clip a uh, willow warbler, wood pigeon and crows again, and a blackbird. Of course, birds with black in the name are really tuneful. In this next recording, chill out to the lazy melodic phrasing of a blackbird in the foreground, which is interspersed uh, with the high-pitched repetitive call of a cold tit in the background. Now, if you got to the end of that one, you might have heard an additional snatch of song just at the end. This is the bit I mean, and I've repeated it a couple of times. This is actually really interesting. When I heard it, I dropped everything, apart from my phone that is, and went to track it down. I managed to catch up with it again, and here's some more of the same bird. Two snatches of song separated by a dog, a cow, dog and a willow warbler. This bird is a lesser whitethroat. It's a widespread species in South England but much less common up here. In the northeast, it's more frequent near the coast, so it's really good to have one singing in the Hexham area. The lesser white throat is a Sylvia warbler, that is to say, it's in the genus Sylvia. But there are a couple of commoner species of Sylvia warbler in the northeast. This next clip is of a common white throat 
which has a fairly characteristic song. Perhaps a more familiar and more melodic Sylvia Warbler species is the blackcap. I'll put a couple of recordings of a blackcap in my garden next. So, lesser white throat, common white throat, and black cap. That's three silver warbler species from my garden. I made the lesser white throat recording a few days ago, and although it was here for four days at least, I've not seen it for the past three, so I suspect that it may have moved on. However, in trying to find it again in the same place, I found a different species of silver warbler, the garden warbler. Now, if you see a black cap, it is fairly easy to recognise because it does indeed have a black cap, at least the male does, the female has a brown cap. On the other hand, the feature that distinguishes a garden warbler is that it has no distinguishing features. It is really just a small light brown bird. Even its song is a little tricky and easy to confuse with a black cap. Have a listen and see what I mean. And in the recordings that follow now, the focal bird is always a garden warbler. And it's probably the same individual, but there's three separate recordings. <laughs> 